Good morning. This video is for Maureen and Douglas. Uh, let's see if I can get this right. It looks like you're trying to assemble, or no, I'm sorry, you're looking for Radiant Health uh, E1H, and I just happen to be putting one together today. Uh, thank you for everyone else who's reached out recently to ask if I'm okay. Everything is fine. Uh, just resetting up the office, moving a bunch of saunas. Happened to be putting a one-person Radiant Health together earlier today with the help of my uncle and cousin. And we got a question here that is for this exact model from uh, Maureen or Douglas. It says, um, they state the finished height is 77, 77 inches tall. We have 77 and a half in the place that works best for us to install it. Do you think there's enough space to uh, slip the roof on basically? So a lot of people ask about this. And what I'd like to do is show you, I mean, they're padding this a little bit. And also this sauna is on carpet. So it, it does sink in about uh, an eighth to a quarter of an inch. So I've got uh, 76 and a quarter at the completed, like installed height. Now there are a couple of panels and trap doors on top of that. So I would add another three eighths of an inch. We're still under 77. So if you have, if this, this is not exactly the same for every single sauna, but most of the saunas, you have to be able to slide the roof up about a half an inch to maybe an inch in order to flip them on, or I'm sorry, to slip them over the walls when it locks together. But for this particular model, I think you could get away with your ceiling height. You're gonna to have to be a little bit crafty. Um, this is 77 and a half. So I think that's enough space. You're, you know, obviously don't kill me if you have a hard time, you know, fishing the wires up through uh, to connect those because it's gonna be really, really tight. However, I think it could be done. And I think you're under your max ceiling height, um, you know, at your completed install. like. Height. I don't know what kind of flooring you have it on, but you can cheat a little bit. Like this is on carpet. And if I were to really press down on this, we could sneak another you know, quarter inch out of it or something like that. Obviously not an issue in here with tall ceilings, but if you're putting a, a sauna in a basement, uh, and a lot of people have this question. So um, a little disclaimer, this varies from sauna to sauna. Uh, for instance, one of these models over here is a different height. So this is like 76 and an eighth, which is slightly different. <laughs> same floor, same everything, but there is, you know, a, a slight discrepancy. So if you're dealing with a, a really low basement um, ceiling or, or uh, a really low install space is what I was trying to say, you want to go model by model because there is going to be some variation. So uh, anything else on the question? I think you could do it. There's, there's going to be some difficulty. You, you probably pinch your fingers a couple times because in here there are wires that you have to fish up through there. But I think with a half an inch of clearance and a little bit of patience, um, maybe a couple of beers if you drink <laughs> to relax a little bit. But uh, Douglas, Maureen, good luck. Uh, whatever you choose. I think I don't want to speak out of turn. I would have to go through each one person and, and see if there's any shorter ones. But this is going to be one of the shorter ones, I believe. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, I'll do a follow-up video. I just happened to see this question be doing it today. Uh, thank you very much for everyone who's reached out and asked um, if I'm okay. Everything is fine. Just way, way behind uh, moving offices, doing all that kind of stuff. Been filming the whole time, ready to upload very shortly. Thank you for your concern. I hope everyone is doing well, and I'll get caught up on these questions uh, very soon. Thanks, guys.